It is Wednesday, December 12, 2012. We're live in the Wall Street Journal newsroom in New York. Today on WSJ Lunch Break, sunroofs, they are getting supersized in cars, but what about leaks and breakage? We're going to hear all about that right now from Neil Palmer. He is reporting for us from Toronto. Neil, when you say they're getting supersized, walk me through how much of the roof these things are actually taking up now. They've become much larger than in the past. In the past, we typically saw they would maybe stretch over partially of the front row passenger seats. Now we're seeing them stretch from the top of the windshield all the way back to the, to the rear row passengers. In the Ford Flex, for example, there's actually a number of rows where passengers across the SUV can actually look up and out to the sky. And you, you said this Ford brand. I mean, a lot of people associate uh, having these moon roofs or these sun roofs with more, uh, more upscale cars, but it's sort of hitting every swath of the industry. Is that right? It is. We're seeing the Chevy Sonic, uh, the Scion TC, even the Ford Mustang have these now. Now, on the luxury end, they are making them much, much larger, much more panoramic. The Lincoln MKZ, for example, has a 15-square-foot panoramic sunroof. So the bigger the ones get on the entry level, the larger the luxury model makers go. From a driving standpoint and a passenger standpoint, actually, even maybe even more than a driving, it's, it's sort of wonderful to have these to look out. You can see the stars at night. You can pull over on the side of the road, look at the moon. But there are people who worry about the breakage factor is you know that, that, that these glass ha these glass this glass has broken in the past as well as the fact that sometimes it can be very loud in the car tell us a little bit about how the designers of these are altering the materials uh, and the technology to to account for that that's right. There's been a real evolution over the past decades where aftermarket dealerships used to um, basically cut the holes in the top of people's cars, fit them in. Automakers saw this as a trend, started coming out with their own sunroofs. In the 90s, there were a lot of complaints, though, of, of leakages with wind noise, rain coming in. A lot of those minor concerns have been addressed, but now what we're seeing is that as these roofs have become larger, there's actually instances of breakages. So right now, there's actually an investigation going on right now through NHTSA, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, and they're investigating claims and complaints against a couple of manufacturers, one which includes people actually driving at highway speeds and the roof suddenly shattering and showering glass upon them. In a couple of the cases, we know why this is happening. For example, the uh, Audi uh, Q5 crossover, uh, it's in severely cold temperatures where this is prone to happen, so 13,000 of those vehicles were recalled. In another case, we have a uh, manufacturer of sunroof saying that with certain aftermarket parts, the sealant comes loose, and so that's the problematic factor there. All right, all things to consider before purchasing the excellent view in your car. Thanks so much for talking about this with us, Neil.